Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss if we have a power supply all components are good it is working nicely outside from the chassis but when we fit and in the chassis line voltage are expo exposed in the metallic chassis this is a comment from one of my viewers he asked me no component is short circuit but when assemble it shows short circuit in the chassis let's check it normally if you have mosfet here rectifier mosfet if it is metallic taped it must have insulator between the metallic chassis if it is molded in plastic pack it is insulated we no need to use insulation paper but for safety we can use it second thing what are the points which are exposing to the chassis we have one point here the second point here one in input side the second output side if we see this point this one it is connected to ground terminal that is here line neutral ground earthing point this earthing point if we see in this grounding terminal we have one two three we have three capacitors one capacitor is connected in the output side this is output portion so this class y capacitor if this capacitor will leak it can bring some noise in the metallic chassis but that will noise it will not give a short circuit but here if we see this component and this component these two components are here with connected with line and neutral line here after that it is reaching here filter and then it is reaching to the grounding point this one here fuse filter filter coil choke dual line filter and it is connected here it is line neutral so one capacitor is here it is connected to grounding point second capacitor is here it is connected to grounding point that is earth so if any one capacitor from here will become faulty it will give line components in the chassis because the earthing point is connected to the chassis let's check in normal condition in good working condition if we check ohms from line to earthing point it must open it is the first test point neutral it must open this is the resistance mod line to earth open neutral to earth open from dc side open open if it is open earthing point that means these capacitors are good now i will check live i am applying power power supply is powered on ac voltage this time i am not using grounding wire i am not using earthing wire line to earth 116 neutral to earth 116 why this because this time i am not using third wire so it is working as a voltage divider so both capacitors are good so it is creating a voltage divider so i am taking out of 220 volts out of 233 volts these two capacitors are now using as a voltage divider so this point it is center point it will create 115 volt with respect to neutral 116 volt with respect to line but when we will connect it to the ground it will use to create zero reference to remove the noises because this time this pole is connected to 
the zero point. If any one capacitor will become short circuit out of these one, two, these are class Y capacitors. If any capacitor will short circuit, it will expose line voltage to the chassis. So this is the first first condition. The second condition, if the MOSFET here, if it is metal tape MOSFET, if we will connect here at that time, it can provide line component in the chassis. If we are using metallic metallic tape MOSFET, at that time we have to use the insulator for this screw. Use insulator and use insulation paper so that it will not touch to the body. Sometime when we are connecting these heat sink mounting pads, these can also touch to any component to the chassis. Inspect them carefully. Here it is using insulation paper for the chassis. If any component, any pin of the component is long than its recommended size, it can touch to the chassis and line voltage can reach in the chassis. So these are the points we can check in normal condition. I installed here this power supply. AC voltage. If I will check the chassis with line, it will provide 116 volt. Chassis with neutral 114 volt. It is a good working condition. If anything, any component, any pin of any component can touch to chassis, it will cause to imbalance in the voltage here. If I am taking this voltage 116 and the second side it may be giving 220 volt so at that time there will a problem. So we have to see these components we have to see these metallic tabs of the switching devices or we have to inspect or we will want to use insulation paper between the metallic chassis and the PCB. The chassis points in the PCB, we must insta install screws. This must be installed firmly with the PCB to make a good connection. So these are the points we can verify, we can check it. I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.